In 2009, Scotland moved to world-leading climate change legislation, which set us a tough target of achieving a 42% reduction in greenhouse gases by 2020. We are in Scotland using a combination of measures, but we're also investing in renewable energy. And to date, through the Climate Challenge Fund, we have had the involvement of almost 500 separate communities putting together projects to help us achieve our objectives. I hope by watching this film that you will be inspired in your community to take similar action and do your bit to help with a global challenge. I've always been really interested in not wasting things, just to be supportive and encourage people to take action. Well, I suppose the environmental benefits are that there's one car which is serving a large number of people instead of one car which is serving just half of this family. Out of the 44 members we've currently got, 19 of those members have actually either given up a car or not replaced a car. They want to improve the draft proofing in their home. They want to find out about the car club. It's a yes unless it has to be a no. Living on an island, I kind of think, what would happen if the ferry couldn't get in? What would you pick? What would you choose? What would you, what would you keep? My granny used to always say, if you use what you have, you'll never want. And I think that's quite a good mantra. There's a real awareness of wanting to maintain this beauty. And I think there's an island-wide sense of, of the future for Cobb. Velocity is a place where you can come and eat and meet people and learn how to fix your bike. So anyone that wants to learn or just wants to be part of something. It's enabling people to get out there on their bike. It's benefiting the environment, it's benefiting the children, it's benefiting the community. Cycling is such a natural connection. That's the thing that Velocity really is. It's like a place where you can come and you feel like, yeah, this is kind of cool. I feel like people love me here. Everything that we do is about reducing carbon. When we're here helping people to grow their own food, that reduces carbon. It's going to look beautiful at the end of the day. It's going to be a pleasant place to come. It's going to be growing food. You know, it's just sorting out problems rather than just being depressed about them. Sometimes you've just got to say, well, if nobody else is doing it, then we need to do it. Communities, you know, can empower themselves. We don't need to be empowered. Where I come from, there are times when it's very hot and yet it's a season for planting. And at the end of it all, people go hungry. People ought to be aware about these issues. They concern everyone. And once the people are aware, then they can take control of their environment. There's nothing like a problem to bring a solution. There's nothing like something that people can work together on to bring people together. It's a call for everybody, for everybody to do their part so that at least what we can do, we are able to do it. And what we cannot do, then we leave it to God.